The Secretary General of NATO met with Ukraine's Foreign Minister in Brussels on Tuesday and his message was a blunt one. Russia's uh, considerable military build-up is unjustified, unexplained and deeply concerning. Russia must end this military build-up uh, in and around Ukraine, stop its provocations and de-escalate immediately. Kiev estimates Russia has amassed around 80,000 troops on the border in the past two weeks. It says as well as soldiers, Moscow is deploying tanks, artillery and missiles. Ukraine says the West must not allow a repeat of Russia's 2014 aggression, which resulted in its annexation of Crimea. We need measures which will deter Russia and which will contain its uh, aggressive intentions. This could be a new round of sanctions which would raise the price of uh, Russian aggression. This could be a direct support aimed at strengthening Ukraine's defence capabilities. Russia has confirmed it's redeploying 15 warships from the Caspian to the Black Sea to take part in military exercises. It comes as the US sends two of its warships to the Black Sea this week as well. Moscow says its troop build-up is a direct response to an amassing of NATO troops near the Russian border. They are concerned on the Black Sea and Baltic regions. Overall, about 40,000 military forces and 15,000 pieces of equipment and vehicles are focused next to our territory, in particular strategic aviation. In a bid to de-escalate the tension, President Biden spoke to President Putin over the phone on Tuesday. Both he and his Secretary of State, who's in Brussels for talks on Ukraine, made it clear where their loyalties lie. The United States stands firmly uh, behind the uh, sovereignty and territorial integrity of of Ukraine. It's not known exactly what Moscow's real intentions are. Some suggest its military manoeuvring is simply sabre-rattling, aimed at testing the new US administration's commitment to Ukraine. But what is clear is that one minor incident could see the long-simmering conflict between Russia and Ukraine escalate quickly into a full-scale war. Sarah Morris, TRT World.